Hello, Fields. <laughs> Hi. I'm here with my grandson, Fields, and my granddaughter, Lillian, and we're doing a painting of a nest. It comes with the kit that we're doing with the Center for the Arts this May. In your kit, you'll have paint, a palette, brushes, instruction, and everything you need to have a lot of fun painting. But today we're going to be doing a nest, similar to this one. This is Phil's first nest painting, and Lillian, have you painted a nest before? I think so. Okay. Good. Yellow ochre, raw umber, burnt sienna, crimson red, ultramarine blue are some of the colors that we'll be using. Just get a small amount of each out on your palette. The first thing you'll do is draw your nest, um, draw your eggs. You can draw as many as you want in the little circle that your eggs fit in and the outside of your nest. And after that, we're going to come in here around our eggs and we're going to paint it a really, really dark color. And then we're going to come back, do our nest, and then finish up our eggs. You ready? You can take some white and put it in the center of your palette and start adding blue. You can make it as dark or as light as you want. Keep adding white, blue, and you can even use a different color if you want to. Paint the, the entire canvas on the outside of your nest. Just keep painting. Um, you can use texture. You can make it smooth. You can do it any way you want. It's your painting and it's your nest. What's your favorite part of your background, Lillian? I don't know yet. Your texture? Yeah, probably. She's been working a lot on getting texture, and I love it. It's beautiful. Yours is too. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is paint the inside of our bird nest. It's the little part of the bird's nest where the legs are, the legs, or the <laughs> eggs, <laughs> are hidden safely away so they can turn into little birds. You ready? I guess. To make your dark color, you can use a black if you want to and add a little bit of red or blue. Um, I like to use blue and burnt sienna and um, just whatever colors you want to use to make a really, really dark color. Black is not my favorite because I like for it to have a little bit of variation in color. And you just keep painting around each egg, filling all of that inside with a really, really dark color. those colors together so you got that really dark color and you're going to paint in there all around your eggs. Phil's did really good at that to be just five years old um, but this is one of the parts that is a little bit harder because you have to take your time and paint around each egg. If you get outside the lines, it doesn't matter at all. You just keep on painting. Um, we're going to use some lighter brown and some black, and we'll put a little water with it, and we're going to paint our whole nest light colors. Yes, that, maybe a little white. Let's do that, and then paint your whole bird nest. The whole thing right up here. It's a little bit easier if you paint the whole nest. That way you don't have any white showing through on your canvas. After you get the whole thing painted, then you can come back and start adding twigs, little branches and little sticks. You can use any browns. You can use blue in here if you want to. Good job, Lily. That's really pretty. A very small brush works well to keep adding twigs and sticks and texture. And I like to usually use the dark colors first and then come back with the lighter colors. And you just keep working and working and working and it helps to go in circles the way the nest is formed.
just continue painting till you get all of the finesse filled in. You can start with your lighter colors and that makes highlights and it makes your nest have a lot of texture and it makes it start looking real. You can use white and mix a little yellow ochre and that will make a really good light color for highlights. We've been working really hard. Fields has his nest almost done. All these little sticks are in and Lillian does too. And they both decided that they'd like to have a little bit of mossy green. And so Fields has made his mossy green by using a little bit of yellow and a little bit of blue, mixing it together and making just the right color green that he loves. And he's gonna put some green in his nest. Blue and yellow. There you go, stir that all up. Put you a little bit in here wherever you want to. And sometimes I like to put a little bit of red in mine, a little bit of blue. It's fun to mix different colors. Just play with it and work. And the, the more you work with the colors, the more you learn. And when I do nests, I usually like to put a little bit of red, a little bit of purples, um, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Continue with your highlights. And you can continue with some darker colors if you want to. Just keep working and working till you get a nest that you love. Little brushes work well. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is our eggs. And Phil's, you need a small brush. Let's find you one. Let's try this one. And Lillian is still working on some of her um, highlights. She's uh, done her branch and she's making the nest stand out really good from the branch. So what she's done is she's put a lot of light color in here near the branch and that makes the nest pop out and look like it's sitting out there on that branch all ready for the bird to come. Okay, next thing we're going to do is our eggs. You ready? You're going to use white. I'm going to do one. And then I'm gonna let you do the other two. I'm gonna show you. Okay. Lillian's a great little artist and she likes detail. She works really, really hard to get her details just perfect. When you're doing your eggs, um, you can start at the bottom and where they're gonna be touching the inside of the nest, you wanna make it dark for your shadows. Mm, he's cute. Have you ever watched a bird? Um, hatch out of an egg and then you'll put your blue on top of that and just kind of start blending and you can do shadows last if you want to or you can do shadows first um, I usually just do um, at different times I keep working with my eggs until I get them the way I want and the light color on top makes them look three-dimensional so you just keep working on your eggs Take your time. Some blue, a little blue. Make your eggs blue. See how these eggs are blue and they've got some white? And here I'm adding some highlights. You can use just a little bit of white. Um, that's the simplest thing to make a little highlight on the top of your eggs. Phil's wanted to paint a bird on his bird nest today, too. See how they're starting to look real? And after you get finished, you can step back and look at your painting. And if you love it, go ahead and sign it. And if you don't love it, just keep on working on it till you get it just the way you want to. It's really pretty. I love it. So all Lillian lacks is a few more touch-ups and signing her name. And you can continue to work on these as much as you want to, add different things to them, um, or leave just the nest. Like on mine, we did a butterfly. Phil's wanted to do a butterfly, but we told him it was just a little bit too hard for today, right? <laughs> Thank you.